Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys step by step how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a powerful NAS server using Pi hosted and Nextcloud whether you want to store your file or share media or access your data from anywhere this setup is perfect for creating your own private cloud at home so let's get started so at first you need to open your browser go to Raspberry Pi website go to raspberrypi.com click on software over here now scroll down a little bit and you will get raspberry pi os imager okay so you need to download uh, for windows if you are using windows if you are using mac or ubuntu then you can download from here so i will download for uh, windows so if you click over here it will download automatically on your computer images software after download you need to install so let me show you here is a raspberry pi image software okay so now what you have to do you just need to click on see all downloads options and after that scroll down you will get a raspberry pi 64 bit with desktop as you can see so download this version which is bookworm version the Debian version is 12 okay so download from here or also you can download from torrent also so after download simply you need to extract that uh, zip file on your computer and after that open raspberry pi image software now you need to insert the usb pen drive or micro sd card to your computer after that click on choose device now select your device in my case it is raspberry pi 4 if you, if in your case it is 5 or 3 then you can select from here so i'll select raspberry pi 4 now click on choose OS, and here if you'll choose this 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS, it will download directly from internet and, and that will take a uh, much longer time. So I will what what I'll do is I will click on custom and after that I will uh, select that extracted IMG file which I have downloaded from Raspberry Pi uh, website. Okay, so I'll select that one IMG file and I click on open. Now click on choose storage and here I will select my scan disk. Uh, USB pen drive and after that click on next here I will click on edit settings so I have already set the host name as you can see host name is Raspberry Pi and my username is uh, technology and password is 123 and you can also set the wireless LAN means if you have a Wi-Fi network on your uh, network then you can um, type the SSID name means Wi-Fi name over here and password over here you can set the local time zone from here after that go to services then enable ssh and use password authentications after that go to option now select this three option and click on save after that you need to click on yes now click on yes now it will take some time to write the raspberry pi on your uh, usb pen drive or sd card and now you need to insert the micro sd card to your raspberry pi after that connect ethernet internet cable and power supply to your raspberry pi now simply open your router page on your browser and after that you need to find out your Raspberry Pi IP address. In my case it is 192.168.0.199. Now open CMD on your computer. Now you type on your CMD SA space username of your raspberry pi at the rate the ip address of your raspberry pi to connect the raspberry pi through your cmd now put the password of your raspberry pi and press enter at first you need to update and upgrade my raspberry pi for that i have to type sudo space apt space update space or sudo apt space upgrade Once it will done, you need to install git curl for that you need to type sudo space apt space install space minus y git space curl. Next we need to install docker using official script for that you need to type curl space minus sl space https get.docker.com then sh
Next, you need to add your user to Docker group. For that, you need to type sudo user mod space minus ag docker then dollar user. And then you need to type new grp space docker. Next, we need to clone the pyhosted GitHub repo. For that, you need to type git space uh, clone space the hosted pi hosted git uh, repo link next we will go to the pi hosted folder first using cd command Next, we need to install the Portainer installation script. For that, you need to type dot slash install underscore Portainer dot sh. To access Portainer web UI, you need to open your browser and type the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, which is in my case 192.168.0.199, and the port number should be 9000. And now here on this page, you need to type the 12th character long password and after that, you need to click on create user. After login, click on get started button. Now click on live connect button. Now click on stacks from your left side corner. After that, click on add stack. On name, I will put over here next cloud. Now copy the script from my video description. After that, click on deploy stack. After created, successfully click on that stack which you have created. As you can see, port number is showing 8080. Now open a new tab and type your IP address and port should be 8080. After that, put the new admin account name and password and then click on install. After that, login from your account which you have created. And now as you can see, I have successfully connected to my next cloud where I can upload anything and share with my uh, other computers. So before ending this video, I would like to big thanks to all my channel members, a special shout out to everyone who regularly watches my videos and support the channel through membership. Your support truly means a lot. So if you want to support the channel too, then click on the join button and become a channel member to help me to making more helpful content like this. Thanks again for watching and as always, I will see you on the next one.